My friends, I hope that uh, everybody's day out there is going well. I wanted to just sit down here and, and make this video. I, I actually just attended a really, really beautiful kind of overcoming fear when we are, are looking at creating our own business and when we're, when we're looking at really stepping into um, our soul work and, and work that we feel really, really connected to. And coming out of that, I did some really beautiful breath work practice um, with the group and, and have just, just felt really inspired to sit down and kind of see what comes out here. So bear with me on that. I, I know that today is, is National Coming Out Day might even be International Coming Out Day. I, I, I never really know what those things, but uh, we, we are celebrating today coming out. And that is a, a beautiful, beautiful thing. And, and I'm so glad that, that hopefully there are so many people out there that are struggling with coming to terms with their sexuality, who identify within the LGBTQ community and and my hope is that anybody in that position that um, is feeling alone and is feeling scared and feeling not supported in that area can look around today and see a lot of people there waiting with open arms to support and love them and, and let them know that they are worthy. I also want to touch on a piece of the coming out process that I don't know that we talk about quite enough there is, I think, a, a lifelong journey. And so what I have found, what I have found is that, that really embracing my sexuality and being able to openly say that I am gay and, and the whole process that I've been on with that, I think that's a lifelong journey. And I think, you know, I can go back to, to college when I, at the age of about 22, when I, I decided to start opening up about um, about my sexuality, had my first boyfriend, all of those things. That was a, a beautiful and a huge piece of, of the process. And um, it's a very, it's an important process to go through, the actual act of coming out and, and saying, you know, this is who I am and sharing that with the people around you that you feel safe doing that. I also think that and I know that here I am about 12 years after I came out and, and I am still learning how to fully embrace that piece of myself. I've gotten really, really good at saying that I'm gay, living that openly, you know, walking around the, the lake with um, somebody that I'm seeing and holding their hands, uh, holding their hands and, and, you know, and truly, truly living out that piece of myself I have found is a very different process than telling somebody that I'm gay. Um, and, and I just want to offer that up to people today that identify within the LGBTQ community. If you've already come out and, and it's still a journey for you, um, you're not alone. You are absolutely not alone in that. Um, I think what happens is way too many of us within the LGBTQ plus community have lived far too many years of our life shoving away and feeling really, really intense shame about our sexuality, about what we're sexually attracted to, about that piece of ourselves. And that takes a lot of years to unpack. And, that, and that, that's not something that just by saying that I'm gay, that all of a sudden that just goes away. Um, that's some pretty deep work I've found for myself. Again, I can only speak for myself. You know, I, I envision, and, and what, I, what I hope that, that we are, are hopefully moving in the direction of in this country, in this world, is a, a world where um, the sixth grade version of myself that first started to have a crush on another guy in middle school um, doesn't have to walk around the halls of the school saying to myself, like, that's not right, or 
you know, I, I know I'm having a crush on that person, but I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. And so I'm just going to like shut that down and not allow that part of myself to be seen. Um, year upon year upon year of doing that to myself, um, I know has, has created a lot of very unhealthy um, ways of thinking. A lot of, a lot of, it's taken a lot of blows at just like self-compassion, right? And has taken a real hit on, on learning how to just love myself. Um, and I work at it, right? I work at it all the time, even today at 34 years old. But what I, what I hope we can all really um, work towards cultivating, work towards creating on a day like today, national, international coming out day, whatever it is, um, is creating a world where people, no matter what age they're at, when they first start to experience and, and, and come into contact with that version of them, with, with, with that part of themselves, um, where they start to recognize that maybe they're attracted to people of the same sex or um, they identify differently than, than maybe some of the people around them. Um, we need people to be able to lean into those experiences and, and, and say, oh, okay, that's a piece of who I am. I, I have people in my life that I can talk to about this, I can process this, um, and, and we can try to resist and, and, and get people to not go in the direction of shame and not turn on themselves and not start saying things like, oh, there's something really wrong with me or that's really messed up or um, I need to just like hide this away in this like deep, dark corner um, and try to present something else entirely to the world outside. So I hope that's helpful. Maybe there's somebody out there that, um, that finds that helpful. I think ultimately coming out is a courageous step towards truly loving yourself. And it's a, it's a courageous step in the direction of saying, um, I'm going to embrace who I am, all the parts, every piece, the beautiful, the messy, and everything in between, right? I'm just going to embrace that piece of myself. I'm going to embrace who I am. I'm going to radically love myself through whatever experience I'm having in the given moment. Um, and, and as I'm doing that, um, I'm also going to lean in and work on opening up to the people around me. So um, I just want to send a lot of love to anybody who is thinking of coming out, who has already come out, is in the process of coming out, wherever you are. Um, I just want to really stress the message that there is nothing wrong with you. You are a whole, loving human being at the core. Um, and our minds are going to try to tell us otherwise, right? Our minds are going to try to create all these really scary stories. And, and I hope today you can just take a deep breath and really lean, in, lean into your innate worthiness, that love within, um, and be gentle with yourself. So, much love, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.